There's no experience for me that, that rivals, equals, or surpasses the process of recording, the process of performing live, and the process of writing. That's, these are the moments of my life in which I am at ease. I would say that we have a sound that's um, you know, sort of heavy. Uh, there's like some elements of our music that celebrate metal. There's this elements of our music that celebrate punk and pop. And at the end of the day, it's, it's very difficult for me to stick with one or the other, though, um, because one of the purposes of this band is that we are able to use the different styles that we like uh, to suit our music, which is, I guess, some sort of rock thing, you know. Hopefully, you know, when the record come, when the record is listened to, people put headphones on and it's just absolutely transportative, and it takes uh, it takes every listener out of the environment that they're currently in. That's what I like about my favorite records is that I'm not, you know, that I can sort of detach from reality and consider the music and consider other things and there's a there's an atmosphere and somewhere else that you can go and you know escape life for a little bit and, you know each time we sit down and write an album and what we most initially try to do is figure out something that that was like very important and critical to our last record and we try to do the opposite and that's just one element but but you know I think another the philosophy or mentality that we have is that that we try to keep our ears open. I especially try to listen to uh, a lot of a lot of music because it seems to me that the best influences that we get and that we can put into our music are the ones from the styles of music that we are probably the least associated with. In, you know, in all my creative outputs, I'm more on the neurotic side of things, and I'm more, I have a, a greater tendency to overdo than to underdo. For instance, I'm very jealous of the type of songwriters who have, you know, the natural uh, talent for just three chords, a handful of, like, wise beyond their words lyrics, and just a rough recording, and that's, that's beautiful music. You know, it's just simple, it's basic, it's bare bones, and it works incredibly efficiently. I'm more like, here's every single idea that I've ever had, and I want to get them all in there, and I want to hear, I want to hear the entire experience that I went through. And I don't think that's invalid, but I think that it's difficult to say when, when enough is enough. It, making myself stop in order that I might better serve the music that I play is a, is a challenge for me. I have uh, I've built a studio up around where we what we used to call rehearsal spaces now, but more like a recording studio that you can rehearse in. And so as we get ideas, we start to catalog them and record them. So when we go into when we go into the recording studio to do what will be recorded and put on released on an album, chances are we've recorded those songs multiple times, different speeds, different keys, with a different feel and that we have some version that we really, really, really like in a studio before we record it. I think the first time that I became very, very aware in, an, in a creative way uh, about how production was, you know, sort of changing the experience that I had with a band was probably one of the one of the flaming lips records so there was this thing where you know we would we would be doing records and our label or who you know whomever would ask us who we wanted to produce us and I always go to Dave Fridman and they, you know it'd be, I'd like literally get laughed out of the room because one he like why would he work with it like you know a heavy band like it's not a thing that he would do and then two he was already like a monster producer uh, of these you know creative psychedelic indie records um, I, you know, I'm just glad somebody took me seriously at some point because I was able to get in touch with him and he and I have been like great friends ever since. That's, that's amazing, you know. Yeah.